What's up guys, today I'm going to do a really quick walkthrough of my most recent piece, Charts. You guys seem to like the last walkthrough, so I thought I'd do another one. So, first of all, let's start with the focus of this scene, uh, the hand and the dice. The hand is a free asset from online. It had its own textures, which are these image textures here, and then I just mixed in my own JS placement map. I mixed that into the color to make it darker and look sci-fi to blend in with the rest of the scene. So yeah, that's the hand. And then we've also got these dice, uh, which is also the same thing, just a model of like Sketchfab or CG Trader, one of those things. And uh, it's got its own material, and then I've just mixed in my own JS placement stuff. Um, then we'll go and look at, have a look at the city. So this big city here, I just followed Max Hayes' tutorial on creating cityscapes, but it's just basically using this thing called OSM, which gets street data from Google Maps and then puts it in Blender. So you just do that, and then I just put two image textures on it. Now let's do these sci-fi pillars. So that these are things I modeled myself, just going after a look I wanted to create. You can actually download them on my Gumroad page. I have them as a free asset, and then I just made one, and then I just duplicated it around. Using that model I created here, I made these things to add some more like medium-sized detail in the scene. So I just grabbed the main chunk of this sci-fi pillar thing, duplicated it, made it its own object, scaled it down, and then just added these aerials, which is just like a cylinder with some extrusions, you know, just adding small detail to the scene. So yeah, that's what these are. And then up close to the camera, we have a photo scan of me from like 2020. So yeah, that was a while ago. And I just found that in my files and I thought it'd be cool to put myself in one of my artworks. Um, then we have this thing, which is another thing that I modeled and I just slapped the a JS placement with some roughness and color into it and the same aerial thing on top of it. And then of course we have these cables and these cables are from an asset pack I bought from CG Trader for like eight bucks. They're pretty good. Not all of them are extremely usable, but I, I think this one worked really well in this scene. And then I just duplicated these all around to create some more detail. And then these things here, I imagine they would be like solar panel looking electric thingies. So just a box I modeled, show you what the geometry looks like. I kind of just inset the faces and then extruded them up and created a, like a panel looking sci-fi thing, you know. Then I made a panel up the top. These sci-fi panels took a while to figure out what I wanted to actually use for its texturing. Like you see, I went through a lot of iterations here, but I eventually ended up using this one. Basically just multiplying in a bunch of colors in together. I have a textures.com picture of like a solar panel thing. Look right here. So I'm multiplying that in with Jay's placement and concrete texture. And then I'm kind of just grabbing the roughness out of that. Now let's look at the clouds. So these clouds are actually from a new Blender add-on called Cloudscapes on Blender Market. I'll link it down below. It was like 35 bucks US. I think it's really worth it for what I'm doing at least. They're very easy and there's so many. Like it's just drag and drop in and then you can just play with it and put it in the right position. Another thing I struggle with is making the city look like it went on for kilometers and kilometers before it eventually stopped. And I was like, well, I don't know what I'm going to do to make my city look like it's going on forever. So I just decided to bring the camera down and make it look up. One thing I did add is these mountains. So just in case someone was looking carefully and they went, there's nothing in the background. I added these mountains. I just got for free from CG Trader. So yeah, that's basically the blender scene. It doesn't seem like much, but it did take me a while because I tried so many other different things. Like I was trying aerials on top of the city buildings. I was trying aerials on these big pillars. Like I really wasn't sure where to add the detail. And so that was what took me a lot of time. But another thing you could probably take away from this is the fact that once you make one good texture, you kind of just build all your other textures on that foundation. They all are just based off the idea of having an image texture for color and an image texture for JS placement and mixing the two together and then using what you get from the color to drive the roughness and the bump. I also wanted to show you guys what I did in Photoshop because as you can tell from the final render, it has changed a lot from in Blender. Doing any color grading can really, really improve your piece. So yeah, I thought we'd just do a little quick look at what I did in Photoshop. This is what I got out of Blender. Yeah, it's pretty washed. It doesn't have too much contrast or saturation. So yeah, let's just go through my layers here. 
So this layer is something I learned from Max Hay. This is where you basically use your mist pass to add some volume to your image. By the way, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a full Photoshop tutorial where I actually go through each step. So yeah, you can see that added a bit of fog. Then I added in some levels to darken the edges to focus your attention on the dice. And then we have some lens dirt pictures that I got from the Action VFX lens dirt free pack and then we've got some more lens dirt they just add a bit of imperfection then there's this lens flare which just adds a bit of blue up the top this is texture an image of literally just dots and hair and stuff if i turn the fill up to 100 you'll be able to see it better it's all this stuff here and then of course we have a lens flare overlay which really adds a lot to the scene and then we've got another levels thing to just focusing your attention on the subject of the image and now this is where the big change really happens and you add a camera raw filter on it and you get to just do all you would in a normal color grading software with temperature exposure highlights and then you also get to play with texture and clarity and then also sharpening and adding in saturation and grain and vignetting like this is really where all your change happens so yeah that's your color grading using the camera raw filter and then i just added a couple more layers of extra color touch-ups so i added a color lookup which is just a lot so i added this crisp warm just to increase the contrast and make the blues a bit darker and then i added another one which is teal orange plus contrast which you can see it just kind of changed the hue of the blues and added a bit more contrast to the scene and then i just added a curves to bring up the middle of the scene and then there is a photo filter which just washes it out with a bit more blue and then I just added some more brightness and contrast. That's what I did in Photoshop to really make this image pop. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. Make sure in the comments to let me know anything else you want me to make a tutorial on. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at EJ3DR and keep going with Blender, you got this.